and welcome to Talking Really. I am in my lounge on my sofa and I just thought I'd do a quick vlog today. It's Thursday. It's 8.34 in the morning. Thursday the 13th of June. It's um, overcast. It's going to rain I reckon or it has been raining today and um, basically the idea is it's going to be raining today, tomorrow, and I have no idea what's happening at the weekend. But I never really think that far ahead. So I'm off to Swindon for my class later, uh, 2 p.m. for the, the class start, and it's in Swindon for Parkinson's group. So, and it's only one class a day for them. Uh, I've been doing it for quite a number of years now, um, even before uh, my back problem started. I was self-employed um, from 2009, teaching seven days a week. And then, of course, in 2013, my back started to develop issues, and by 2014, I could not walk. So I had to have the operation in May, and of course, if you've been following this channel, you'll know that the operation didn't really go that well. Left me worse off and uh, unable to walk very far. Uh, and from then on, it's been a battle with pain. It's been a battle with various health issues. Um, I've just recently developed, well, just before I went away, I developed this pain in my lower stomach or in my... Um, what they call the sigmoid colon, which is the bottom left-hand side, right in the groin area. Initially, I thought it might be like prostate or something like that, or um, some other issue. I've had that checked out, uh, but what they wouldn't do was put me in for a test for the colon, because the codeine that I take makes you constipated and they just said it well it could be constipation that's causing the pain um i doubt it very much because the center i take makes me go uh, i don't go every day uh well i've never even from a young age i've never been to number two every single day anyway and i do eat fruit i do eat vegetables it's not a lift my diet is totally unhealthy because um, shortly after, you know, having various health problems in the years, I went to a healthy diet. I cut out all the bad stuff. I uh, went on to some, uh, doing some smoothies, fruit smoothies, and eating a lot more healthy food and trying to cut out the, the processed foods. And um, I have to say that recently I've been a bit naughty and lazy more than anything else going back onto the quick uh, microwave meals which are two minutes in the microwave done eat and that's it because I really don't enjoy um, spending a long time cooking um, for obvious reasons I end up uh, probably damaging myself rather than trying to do it unreasonably uh, and of course um, just lately my dishwasher packed up so I have to try and wash up by hand and just lately I've been breaking a lot of stuff uh, glasses and plates and things um, so I'm in the process of trying to get my dishwasher repaired uh, we found out what it is it's the the water flow coming in there's hardly any water coming in it's just like a little trickle for some reason and this has changed it's, it was working and then recently I had a guy in from the council looking at my heating I can't prove it but I'm pretty certain that they've done something and um, they've made the water flow uh, trickle so basically there's no water going in so it's never going to fill up it's never going to work so rather than buying a new one I held off on that good job I did because the new one would not have worked either uh, so I'm looking into trying to get somebody in. Uh, obviously, that's difficult. The health issues. So I've got this sigmoid colon, which I am trying to treat uh, because the doctor will not do anything. 
They just say that it's constipation. So I'm taking some supplements, which I've been taking for many years, but I've, I've sort of uh, varied them every now and again. So some of the supplements that I take, apart from codeine, there's um, some turmeric, but you have to have turmeric with black pepper because it does not work properly otherwise. So I've got some of those, and they are mainly for pain, but they also help with the digestive system. So I'm hoping that that will... Well, it has. I mean, I, I know for sure the pain in my back has reduced quite a lot. Uh, I take some hemp seed oil uh, ta um, tablets. There's some argument about whether they're any good or not because there's no THC in them. So they are actually good for lowering cholesterol. But I do believe that they work for pain as well because a friend of mine recommended them and she swears by them. She says that they work. So, yeah, I can't argue with that. Uh, take magnesium, which also is a is, um, supplement, and that again is for pain in my back. It also helps with you know, your bones, helping to keep them healthy. Uh, I take some fish oil, so omega-3. They're, they're huge tablets there. I've just started taking them again uh, a few days ago because I read that they help with the, the sigmoid uh, colon. I try to limit the amount of sun that I take to one tablet per day because if you take two you definitely go but it feels like it's really really affecting your in, um, intestines quite a lot also helping with the the colon issue is eggs apparently um, eggs and uh, taking yourself off of full fat milk in fact dairy products are are not recommended however they are recommended so i don't really know what's what with this and the condition that i reckon that i've got with my colon is um developing into diverticulitis now there is a family history of that because my mum has it and it tends to be hereditary so i'm looking at uh, worst case scenario that I have uh, developed the first part of diverticulitis. Now, this also has very interesting um, causes, and several of them, lack of exercise is one of them, which is laughable because I'm a teacher of exercise. <laughs> Although, to be fair, since my back issues, I'm not being as mobile, so I'm not doing as much uh, especially when you're in pain, you don't really feel like doing a lot. Maybe I need to increase my exercise uh, a little bit. I do have free a gym uh, that I can go to because I'm an employee, so I can go down the gym. But again, it, it's motivation and time. I really haven't got the time or the motivation. And by the time I get home um, today, it will be gone 4 p.m., having driven an hour there, an hour back, and the class as well. And then I get home here, I then have to start again, cook my dinner, and then I have to go into the office and do some work. <laughs> so it's quite a tough regime. And then tomorrow I'm in, I'm in the gym for teaching uh, two sessions. So I do that on a Friday. I've done that for oh, a very long time. So I'm going to go to the doctor at some point to just check this out. But self-diagnosis is the only way sometimes. Um, but my knowledge of health is what's helping me because, you know, I have a, a, a training and understanding because I've done a lot of training in healthcare. So a shiatsu practitioner, uh, reflexology pr practitioner and a Reiki uh, practitioner and I've done all training courses in all of those plus my own Tai Chi Qigong and, and Qigong is, um, is a healthcare program that I teach and also practice myself when I can. Um, if you want to have a look at my Qigong for Health page then please do it's on the, on the youtube and also on facebook 
it doesn't have very many subscribers because I haven't really promoted it that well. And of course, with two channels, uh, my travel channel and this one, I really haven't got the time to make videos as much as I would love to be able to um, do videos every day. As I say, by the time I've gone out, done a class and come back, for example, yesterday, I left here at uh, about half past nine to go down to the tra train station. I catch a train from there at ten past ten and arrive in Salisbury at about quarter to eleven. I then do my class from half eleven till half twelve and I have to catch a train and the train was late so it was about ten to one. So I get home probably twenty to two, two o'clock. Uh, by the time I've got home and had some lunch, uh, it is now 2, 2.30. Um, that's most of your day gone. I then spent the afternoon, a couple of hours, doing uh, messenger email, was uh, catching up on some, some stuff that I had to do and uh, paying some bills. But then it's tea time. Uh, and of course, I talked to my wife at tea time on Messenger, and then by that, by the time that's finished, it's half past five, six o'clock. I don't have to go in and cook tea, or get something in the microwave, um, which is why the microwave meals have come back because they are so convenient. However, they are not healthy stuff to eat, and if you're like me, you know you need to stay off that stuff. Then it's quite difficult to do to have a quick meal without resorting to those sorts of things that you shove in the microwave. It's all very, and when you live alone here, um, it's quite uh, challenging to even be motivated to cook. And certainly when, when I'm cooking, I'm very aware of um, sharp knives, for example. You know, I have on occasions uh, cut myself and I've even had a rice, I stopped using it, but I got a rice cooker. I used to cook rice, and uh, one time I actually was dishing out the rice and I dropped the rice onto my feet. In the house I don't wear any shoes or socks, so of course I had a great big lump of rice on my foot that burnt me. And I had a, a wound for probably two or three months because it just would not heal up. So there's a danger of uh, injury in the house. Anyway, I've rambled for about 15 minutes. Uh, so hopefully I'll have to edit this video down a little bit. But thank you for watching. Thank you for the support. I just really was going to make this video just to say that I would love to be able to make current affairs vlogs. But the problem I've got is that by the time I get around to being able to record a vlog, the information I'm going to impart is out of date and also spread all over the Facebook groups already. So there is no point in me making another vlog about a subject matter that's already been discussed. For example, I was going to talk about Esther McVeigh and her uh, latest uh, story. However, it's been done been done by several other people and I cannot see the point in me doing a, a rehash of the same information. So this is why I try to select various uh, subjects that other people might not talk about and uh, try to give you a, something interesting to, to watch. Because I could just do the same old, same old, but how interesting would that be? I'm also noticing that these other channels, they all get many more views than I do per video. Um, I noticed one today had been out for about 13 hours and had about 8,000 views, whereas mine came out yesterday and it's got a couple of hundred views. And of course, subscriber numbers were still below uh, 1,100 uh, you know, that's um, it's a good increase, but still not the same as six, seven or eight thousand 
the other channels have. And even the uh, Jessica channel has 100,000. So there, there are people that will watch disability related vlogs. However, I can't find them. I can't get them to come over and subscribe. So if you're going to help me, then please tell people about the channel, get them to come over and watch, and then also subscribe because it will help the channel grow. And this is the objective, is to be able to give you the opportunity to take part. Don't forget, tomorrow night we have a live stream. So you're welcome to come over and, and join in. So, talking really, yes, hello, welcome. And of course, please feel free to comment. Uh, keep your comments polite and courteous, of course. Uh, if you're talking about anybody such as the, what's her name, the stupid woman that's gone today, if you want to talk about her, that's fine. But anybody else, uh, please be, be respectful. That's it for now. 20 minutes later, and I'm still talking. <laughs> can't believe it. Anyway, have a good day. It is, of course, um, time for me to go to work after I've done this video. And I'll catch you later for another vlog. Hopefully, very soon. And uh, bye for now. Thank you.